once upon a little planet. A nice provincial planet set deep in the galactic sticks. There lived an interesting thing called man. Man had two legs and two convictions. One he called luck, which he believed in when things went right. The other one he used when things went wrong. And this was called religion. Man was vertebrate, bipodic, omnivorously dieted, often bald, and had a soul that never died. Also, he had his fellow countrymen to stop him getting overconfident. Man ate a lot. Plants, fish, animals, birds, snails, almost anything that he could reach. Occasionally, he ate other men, but this was rare. Each man had a liver, a heart, a brain, and a flag. These were his vital organs. On these, his life depended. Doubtless, there were men alive with only half a liver. Some had no heart, and many had no brain. But a man without a flag? Impossible. Man was the most useful living creature. He raised the value of steel shares. Cheerfully, he died a soldier's death or committed spectacular crimes, thereby selling innumerable newspapers, all of which have now vanished. Many admired human character, but it was split. One half was known as male and did not want to think. The other was called female, in whom thinking was discouraged. Yet both had this in common. They were full of fear. They were afraid of cancer, debt, old age, loneliness and failure but most of all, they feared their fellow man. Thus justifying the name, Sapiens. Man was political. He lived in groups. Each group detested the next group. Oh, there were so many detestations. And the chief of these was called patriotism. Although he had two ears, man rarely listened. And if he did, he only liked to hear promises, estimates of his own value, congratulations, and, above all, expressions of gratitude. Of course, some men were different. Thinkers, revolutionaries, saints. But these were few. And they were quickly crucified, shot or poisoned. And in addition to men, there were white South Africans, though as their extinction was hourly expected and did eventually arrive, none of their artifacts survived. Next week, we study dogs. 